Okay, continuation of the experiment. Measurement of inductance using Q meter. For the measurement of inductance using Q meter, you need to connect two ways to your decayed capacitor, decayed inductance, both positive and negative, and connect it to the two slots over here. Now, the thing that you have to remember carefully is that while connecting your decayed capacitance, sorry, decayed inductance box, please make sure that no plastic part of your white goes inside this one. If your plastic white goes inside this one, the results that you will be getting are highly error prone. Okay. Now, uh, we will uh, in the decayed inductance box, we will be using only the two ranges over here. 1 milli henry and 100 micro henry ok now first apply a uh, inductance of around of around 4.5 micro hen milli henry so the applied value of inductance is 4.5 4.5 milli henry the measured value of inductance is 4.385 henry 4.385 milli henry now you know if you consider your q uh, inductance you need to measure the q factor also for measuring the q factor you need to use this switch position just switch on just press this switch you will be getting the q factor the Q factor over here is 1.142. This is the Q factor that is measured. For knowing, calculating the uh, theoretical value of Q factor, you need to know the resistance also. So, for that one, bring back this uh, switch portions in the resistance mode. Okay, I have kept the values in the resistance mode. I kept the switches in the resistance mode. The measured value of resistance is 2.142 ohms. Okay. And the frequency is 1 kilohertz. By using these values, Q is equals to omega L by R. Q is equals to omega L by R. We can calculate the in, uh, Q factor and we can compare with the measured value.